Hi, uh, I'm Adrian. I work on the Flash team here at Adobe. Uh, I'm lucky enough today to be taking a look at the brand new HTC Hero. This is a device that just went onto the market. It's actually the first Android device that has Flash on it. So we're going to take a look at some of the sites that people have been uh, building over the years that you'll now be able to access on a smartphone. Uh, so the first one that I want to show you is Yahoo Movies. Uh, we'll take a look at some trailers here. This is the trailer for the new Transformer movie that's about to come out. So you can see the full site here loading up. And you've got a few different things on this site. There's advertising on here that's flash-based advertising. And then this main portion here is actually the, the movie trailer. I'm going to double-click on it. And what that does for flash content is makes it full screen. So the second site that I want to show you is actually uh, a game on AddictingGames.com. Uh, so this is a game that was really popular uh, not too long ago, about two years ago. It's called Penguin Swing. It's a great little game where you get to play polar bear uh, playing a game of uh, pickup baseball with a penguin. And it is loading up right now. It takes just a second. The flash loads up directly in the page like you see it here. Or I can do the same thing I did on the last page, which is double click on it. And then it'll zoom in and scale it for me. And if I'm lucky or talented, I can hit that penguin. You know, this is just one example of a game. There are tons of games that are out there. Addicting Games has them, Congregate has them, lots and lots of Flash games. There are probably thousands of Flash games that will play on this device. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you is actually Expedia.com. This is one of the most popular travel sites that's out there on the web. We're on uh, Wi-Fi, so it tends to be pretty quick loading these things. One of the things that's uh, really nice about the way that they built their website is, for the most part, it's HTML. It's very, very easy to use. But there are pieces of content on here that aren't um, in HTML. They built them in Flash in order to like, provide some more interactivity. This section up here in the upper right is the only section that you can use on the front page here to navigate based on location. This is built in Flash. It's got these transitions. Or I can interact on the map, so I can say, I want to go to South America and it'll begin to load up information for me specific to that location. So this is a great example of how people have integrated Flash directly into experiences that, for the most part, are HTML-based experiences, but Flash is a critical part for the usability of the application. This is, uh, again, the HTC Hero. This is one of the first devices out there that has really great Flash capabilities. It's the first Android device that has Flash. About 80% of content that's out there right now will play on this device. You don't need to make any modifications. Uh, but we're working on getting what we've been calling full Flash Player 10 running on devices. So that's something that's going to be coming a little bit later, part of the open screen project. If you're a web developer and uh, you're interested in finding out more about what you can do to get your content working on this device, uh, you can find that out on adobe.com. This is just a stepping stone to making sure that all of the content that's out there that all the developers have been building will work on these devices and you'll be able to get the full real web uh, on those devices. Thank you very much.